All right, we're back with my original character, Oren. And I want to just take a quick trip down these, these stairs before we continue forward, just because I could definitely, definitely use whatever that rune was as this character. Wait, is that definitely actually? I don't remember if it was good or not. It was rare, so I want it. Ow, shit. Shit! Don't, don't fucking die here, Oren. Come on. This is a bad first showing for this character's return! All right, let's just go to normal sword mode. I'm having some trip difficulty with the size of the sword, and all I need to do is get one quick hit in. There we go. Just for nostalgia's sake, guys. Bam! It's a bladed whip. Thankfully, these guys seem to drop really good uh, gems, too. So they're worth doing a quick look through. Hello, friend. Hit! Oh, that was not how you successfully roll all the way of that attack. But this is how you whip the shit out of until you get your hit points back. So, you know, net, net, net gain. Ow, my god. He got, like, a critical hit there. That was some damage. Alright, moon. Alright, time to continue forward from this bonfire. I mean, from this, uh, lamp we saw here right after the boss fight. Micro lash. Sounds. Sounds. Am I wearing my headphones right? I am. Oh, we've got another sinister bell ringer, because of course we do. You can tell I'm back on this character, because aside from the, uh, whip. Bam! The return of the crow cl clothes. Because we, uh, this is the character that actually finished the crow storyline. It's good to be back. I just, I, uh, we're being invaded already. Alright, let's just kill this dog then. Get out of here. I need you out of my, I want all of you creatures out of my game before we get invaded. Is that him behind us? Let's just deal with him real quick. There we go. Alright, oh, there's the invader. Hello, friend. Alright, th that knockback did uh, apparently accomplish nothing. Nice knockback there, I guess? I guess he's using the same weapon as we are. Alright. Well, mine's bigger, or whatever. No, it's not. This, this annoy you with a whip. Look at this range I got, buddy. Ow, not working out for me. Not working out for me. Okay, I'm taking hits fast. I'm taking hits fast. Get out! Oh, yeah. Guess who was predictable? There we go. Nice, successful PvP. I want to point out I have a 100% success rate so far. To be fair, invaders have less hit points, so they're at a disadvantage anyway, but... Still pretty proud of myself that I've killed all of them on my own so far. Two of them have been straight, have been straight up fights, too. I've had two one-on-one -on -one matches I've succeeded at, and I've had one... Where is she? Oh, she's up there. I've had two successful one-on-one -on -one matches and one where the character was dumb enough to straight up murder themselves. Does this take me back to the beginning? I think it does. Ah, we have another shortcut. Which seems a little pointless because we have a lamp like right there. Oh! Interesting. This is a shortcut back to the weird platform we saw earlier. The one that clearly had two separate uh, items. So this is a shortcut past the labyrinth, basically, because uh, in there is the really confusing area where we fought the boss. So this lets you skip that entire chunk of building, then. <laughs> the door tries to close and just gives up after a second. That's actually pretty funny. So yeah, that's a shortcut back to the beginning of the area. Not sure what purpose it serves, because there's lamps everywhere, but I guess... If, you don't, if you're doing some sort of no lamp run, this might be handy for some reason. I don't know. Got to be really confusing for invaders if someone invades your game and they're trying to figure out where you are. Where does this go to? Oh, is this the same? Current not, not currently operatable. So this it looks like the same elevator shaft we already were using, but doesn't seem to be the same one because the elevator doesn't seem to attach to here. So the implication there. Oh, oh wow, that's the shadow of Yarnum. The implication is, I guess we're gonna be upstairs somewhere and call a ladder back down here. Oh, uh, we're gonna fight the Shadow of Yarnum? Oh no, these guys could be nasty. If they have that crazy whip arm that the ones that we- uh, the other ones did before, we could be in trouble. Let's see if I can sneak up on them a little bit. Hello, friend! <laughs> How's it going? You guys have any nasty range attacks I need to know about? Yeah, oh, I got him. I got him anyway, so it worked out. Hey, buddy. Are you the one with the fight? You're the one with the fire attack, aren't you? You're the one with the fire attack. It's going to whip mode for you. I don't trust you one bit. Yep. 
That's what I figured would happen. Just gonna start returning fire now. So where's your third friend? Where's your Shadow of Yarnum friend that shoots magic? There we go, that's what I was going for. End. Is that the last one up top? Is that the one that shoots magic? Is, the, is that not the Bell Lady? That might not be the Bell Lady, that might be the one that shoots magic. Yeah, it looks like it is. Alright, we got some blood vials. Any side paths to look at? No. Alright, slow and careful. This guy's probably gonna throw... Is he gonna throw snakes at us or something? Oh yeah, he throws fireballs at us. He doesn't do snakes until he transforms. And this version might not have the power to transform like the other ones did. The crazy snake one. Anything up here that's dangerous? Nope, just him. Ow. That was very uncalled for. Impolite. Okay. Hey, buddy. You have you have another strategy? You have any other uh, any other plan you want to go to? All right, fine. Just gonna start whipping you now. Sorry, you've been a bad boy. You need a spanking. Oh shit. A lot of characters getting that one last hidden as they die. Unfortunate, because if they're dead, I can't hit them to get the hit points back. That's just, they're kind of just gone. You can get like one or two in as they're dying, but that's not enough to get the health back. Does this go anywhere? Or is it a dead end? Because I was thinking dead end. Oh! Might be a shortcut later. I think if, as I explore, I might get a chance to drop off and get back through here. So we'll look for drop-offs. Hello, piggy, 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 piggy. Being all gross and pig-like. Alright. That... That does not open. That's a window. <gasps> that's a hiccup. Oh, side path looks gross. Oh, that's an upgrade. That's a guy that drops up upgrade items down there. And that's... Oh, there's an item down there. How do I get to that? There must be a way to get there. Do I have to hop down from a higher spot? No. Can I walk there? Oh, I think I can just walk there. Let's take a look-see, why don't we? Gimme, gimme. More blood- wow. If you need chunks for any of your weapons, you got them here. Unfortunately, this gate has no holes in it around there, so I can't jump out. So I do have to get down from here. I'm gonna take out the pig first, because they're usually good for a big chunk of, uh, of blood. Hey, buddy. I see your very well-rendered butthole. I'm just gonna stick my sword right up in there. Hope you don't mind. Oh my god, he's covered in eyeballs. Wow, that was a reveal to see right before he died. Fuck that noise. Uh, if you're- I was too slow, but if you do a charged attack in the rectum, you get to do a visceral attack in the rectum. You get to eviscerate his rectum. That's what happens. Uh, I- I primed the attack, but didn't follow up on it properly. My bad. Let's go ahead and just hop down. Hup. So this is that hole I could drop down from a second ago. What's gonna be over here? Is this poisonous? Nope, just water. If I have lightning attacks, it might make- it, enemies might be vulnerable to them around here. End him before he gets away! There we go. He might have tried to lure me to something, so it's good that we got him right away. Let's just be slow and careful, because any surprise could be around here. I think this side area might be where the Bell Guardian is. I have yet to be double in- Oh, is she up there? I have yet- I have yet to be double invaded. Every single time, I only get invaded the one time. So... I think it just might just prioritize invading people who haven't been in invaded yet. Because the, first, the first invasion seems to come... Oh god! It's a trap! It's a trap! Alright, we're just gonna take a... Get behind this wall real quick. Okay. Oh god! Fire's happening. Alright, so she was a trap in her own right. Because attacking her puts you in line of sight to get attacked by this dude. And he's a baddie. Oh god. I'm gonna start hitting you now. And I'm not going to stop. There we go. Well, as I said, I said as I said, I wasn't gonna stop. I did stop. Those are all other players, right? Okay. Careful, careful. That was. Oh, hello, trap. Hello, shadow of Yarnum. So you're just a normal enemy now. Weird. It's it's weird to me, especially because my other character that got here with the hunter's axe, uh, just fought the shadow of Yarnum like a one boss ago, practically. So it's a little surprising to see them again so soon. Only way to go up is- go is up from here, right? Yeah. So I- is this path gonna- I guess this path's gonna rejoin- Oh my god, how many of them are there? It's probably a job for whip mode for the nice AoE. 
I'm gonna go for backtracking first, though, just because those guys would be a problem. Oh, a piggy. Why are you here? Why are you alive? Oh my god, how many of you are there? I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. Just gonna grab a couple things real quick! Okay. Okay, this whole area that we, that I back, that I bypassed is full of pig- oh god. So. Just gonna go out on a limb here and recommend going through that area in a linear fashion to kill the pigs, cause holy cr- don't panic and back- don't panic and aggro them all. I was not expecting a second one. When I saw the when I saw that one, I was just gonna run past him and have him follow me, cause then I could fight him where I, the shadow of Yarnum would be less likely to aggro on me. But oh god, the number of pigs there! Something to plan for. And pig visceration. Gross. Gross. So if things have gone if things went according to plan the first time with that that visceration, I would have never even seen what he looked like up front. Dear lord, they give me a lot of blood here. They must be expecting me to need to level up soon. Let's go ahead and turn on that hand lantern. Kind of forgot about that. Let's see, is it going to be handy? I'll take a look around for items, but also be careful. Try to fight these guys one. Oh god, they kind of patrol together, don't they? Is the other one turning around? No, he's not. Oh, I'm, I'm expected to fight two pa two bears boars at once? Is that what's going on here? If that's the case, I'm going to apply... A little bit of phantasmistic. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, are you gonna aggro on me all alone? Ow. Shit. Roll was unsuccessful. And there goes like 50,000 souls. I'd feel bad, but it seems like everything here just showers me in them anyway. Alright, these pigs aren't treating me so great, so I'd very much like to get past this area and hopefully unlock some sort of shortcut so I don't have to deal with them anymore. Because I don't know if I can run through this area with these all these pigs, followed by the, uh, the Shadow of Yarnum people, especially that big crowd we saw earlier. That might, that might cause me some problems. Alright, let's try to be good about this dodge this time. Hip. There we go. Wrecked him hit. Alright, he's not dead. Let's be ca careful before he hits me again. Come on. Uh-oh. Dodge back. Hit him in the face. There we go. Oh yeah. That's, de that's definitely the cheese location for fighting him, is getting, a, getting him stuck back there. Where he just, he gets completely trapped. And I pretty much got my souls back from when I lost them all. Alright. Hey, buddy. Did you aggro on me? We have to be careful here. Oh, because he can do some damage. Hey, buddy. Just gonna try to stay behind him. Oh, God. I can really inter I can interrupt his, his animation, can I? Oh, not that time. Interesting that you can interrupt his animation when he's, when he's early into it. But you have to be careful about that, because that guy's nasty. I always, I always underestimate the range of the uh, the pig swipe, where his head goes so far around that like comes out the other direction practically. Let's get the item I almost I died trying to get. More kin's blood. We have a lot of hard blood, which is good because that means I can I can redeem, redeem it later. We're gonna have to figure out how I want to deal with this crowd. Let's see. An oil urn cocktail combo might be handy here, just to do a lot of damage to the whole group. I'll see if it works. They they have fire spells, so it might not be very effective. Oil. They're all in a group, so I might. Oh, oh God. There we go, there's some fire damage. Let's try to heal real quick. Fire damage. It's not very effective. Ooh! They're a little swift and it's hard to aim this attack. There we go. He's still covered in oil, I think. Whatever, I don't use these oil, these, this uh, cocktail stuff very often. That's one of them pretty much weakened. Going to chain mode. Oh, ooh, it missed. Did not want that attack to miss. All right. Long range crowd control continues to be a success. Oh god, no! No, I have to do the whole thing again. This area is mean. Dear lord. Do I have maximum blood vials? Is that what it said? Wow, I have maximum blood vials. I, I never thought I'd see the day. Alright, we're back with the Yarnum guys. And every time I have to kill those pigs again, I get another 30,000 uh, blood vials because they're all worth like 10. So I'm not complaining too bad. Phantasm mode. Alright. Hey, buddy. Oh, did I just aggro one of them? Maybe I can get him to come over here. 
His nasty fire spells are probably going to be a problem, so if I can get him to follow me, that'd be handy. He's not going to move because he's a spellcaster. But if, even if he just stays behind a little bit, he can be vulnerable. Hey, buddy. Oops. Hit him in the face! Thank, there we go. Hit him one more time. Alright, there's spellcasters down. I picked one of them off, at least. Wow, these guys are way... These guys are harder than the pigs, but they were... You know, like, their whole, that whole crowd's probably gonna be worth as much as, like, one pig. Unfortunately. Down to the last three, and they're all melee. Oh, one of them has the fire spells. I have to be careful about him. Oh, God. Okay. Gonna back off for a second here. These guys are genuinely a problem, because they just hit you so goddamn hard. Uh... We have to be careful here. Blood file? I think these guys hit me harder than the ones that, that were an actual boss did, actually. You think you can look away from me? Bolt paper, just for funsies. And... Sword attack. You follow up? There, oh shit, that's not one. None of them died. Ooh, okay, that one's dead now. Oh, but he almost killed me. Alright. Swing, batter, per swing! Oh, get out of there, get out of there! Oh, Jesus Christ, we took some damage. Hey, buddy. You seem a tad bit aggressive. Do you have some issues to work out? That's convenient. Thanks for slowly charging a fire attack. All right, they're down. For the love, for the love of God, let's uh, let's unlock a shortcut or something. Because these guys are causing me some problems, and also I would love to spend my hundred and five thousand blood vials. I'm sure I can get a couple of levels out of that. That light, that giant lightning on my weapon is actually kind of distracting. What is that? Freaky ghost lady. What are you up to? Can I lock on to you? You want to talk to me? Oh, God. You get a baby ripped out of you? you looking at something? Oh, elevator. Cool. That'll help us skip this whole area, probably. Can I talk to you? Can't talk to her, either. That's probably forward progress, and that's probably the elevator to get back down. So let's check that out real quick. Because Papa needs a shortcut that skips the shadow of Yarnum dudes. Oh fuck, it goes up instead of down. That's not what I was hoping for. Unless... Did I want... Nope. This whole room is full of weird skeleton guys. Don't want to go this way. That's probably going to be how we, how we move forward through the area. And my goal is to try to unlock a shortcut if possible, so I don't have to fight through the all those boars and Yarnum dudes again. So let's check if there's, if there's an elevator back down around here. Hello, chest. Please don't be a bad chest. I didn't check. Oh. Unable to acquire Yosefka's blood vial? Dude, my inventory being full? You have Yosefka's blood vial in there. That's weird. That's the clinic character. Why is one of her vials all the way out here? Oh, there's the elevator I was hoping we'd find. No, no other surprises? All right. Well, given this opportunity, I'm probably going to warp back to Hunter's Dream briefly so that I can recover, because we've been through some shit. Where am I right now again? Oh, right. That'll take me to the halfway point, but I think there's a... Yeah. Right down here before the Yarnum dudes, there is a lamp that we started the episode with. So I'm, I'm definitely happy to see that. I was worried that I might have to go through those guys every time we go for a boss, but it looks like this place continues to be really good about showering us with shortcuts, which I will not complain about.